Jay, I know that it wasn't um, a full house or anything like that, but how would you describe what the atmosphere and environment were like at the ballpark tonight? It was great. It was, it was so great to see some of the, the fans that care about Arizona baseball. And, and I'll be honest, like it, there was a different level of, I wouldn't call it excitement because I'm excited for every game and competition. But, you know, as you saw people coming in, it just, it felt really normal, like almost a little bit of butterflies, you know what I mean? And uh, excitement is, is how it would uh equate it. Um, I like our team, obviously, and it's really awesome to be able to, to share this team with this community that supports us. And it's a big milestone today, thinking about everything that everybody's been through over the last year. Sure. You talk a lot about winning games in different ways. I know you had eight runs tonight, but it wasn't sort of, a, I don't know, a typical Arizona explosive offensive performance. Um, what were some of the other elements of your game that you feel like maybe stuck out tonight and might have been just as as big a factors in the win? Yeah, I think, honestly, I think that's almost a little misleading, too, because I thought we hit several balls hard with runners on base. Like, I mean, some really quality at bats that we didn't get positive results for. So I told the team it was a unique game in the fact that I, I felt like we did play really well um, and uh, we're still – working really hard. And part of that, you got to give credit to Wichita. They're not going to go away. That's a really good team. And we got our hands full the next couple of days with them. But uh, I was really pleased with Chase um, responding in the fashion that he did. I think he set a really good tone for us in terms of attacking the strike zone, uh, recording outs, which I thought was great. Uh, we had the one mishandled ball in the outfield, but I thought we played really good defense. I thought there was two plays in the infield one by three, actually, by all of them, one by Kobe to end an inning, one by Tony to end an inning on, on plays that weren't routine. And then obviously Jacob starting the six, four, three double play in the eight. So I thought our infield defense was outstanding tonight. And then um, offensively, I mean, Liam Eddy, I've, I've kind of had this game circled for a while. He's had a really good career at Wichita and has beaten some good teams and posted some good numbers. And uh, he's a good pitcher. Um, you know, we, we caught that five spot. And then, then there was just some other small things that we did that were really good. I mean, you know, Mac dropping that drag bunt down for a run with a runner on third and two outs, uh, Kobe beating the force, uh, you know, is that something we work on? I mean, he's been working on it for four years and it doesn't come up in a game all the time, but that was a huge play. And just think about that extra run right there at the end of that game with, you know, it's the difference between the tying run being at the plate versus the go ahead run at the plate. And we were right in the middle of that, their order. So those two runs, you know, might get lost in the shuffle, but I thought it was a really quality play by our team tonight. We'll sometimes talk about guys that maybe we don't talk about enough and maybe just don't go as, as recognized. Uh, is Tony Bullard one of those guys based on kind of what he does for you guys? Yeah, Tony is um, it's a great question, Matt, by the way. Um, I think that, uh, He's just a winning type baseball player. I think if you look at the stat sheet, you go like, hey, man, this guy's two for 15 or two for 16, whatever, and he could get lost. But uh, he made a play against Missouri uh, in a tie game, or excuse me, we were up by one, or it was a tie game. Uh, that was just critical to us, you know, keeping the momentum in our dugout and then eventually breaking through. And over his time here, he's taken a lot of quality at bats and moved the offense. He worked really hard. Uh, the last couple of days on some swing things. And I think we saw that tonight. He smashed one to center. That two out hit uh, was a big deal. Him and Dante going two out hits with runners in scoring position back to back again was the difference in the game as well. Um, but the way he's playing defense, how composed he is, uh, he brings a lot to our team and just being a winning type baseball player. And I, I would agree that he's one of those guys that maybe he's not going to grab the headlines when you look at the stat sheet, but he made a play. I can't remember what inning it was, but they had runners in scoring position to finish an inning tonight. Big hit, line drive, walk twice, uh, turn the lineup over for the top. Um, so he was instrumental in tonight's game, and I think that typifies what kind of player Tony is. Chase, what was different about your outing tonight versus last week at, at Frisco? Um, you know, last week at Frisco is definitely not something, you know, that happens very much, but it's definitely a learning experience. Um, so Fastball command is what it came down to last week. Left some balls up. When you leave the uh, balls up, then they're going to put more in play, more line drives. Um, and this week, when you kept the ball down, most of their hits were even just ground balls to the hole. So there's just nothing you can do about that. 
but definitely just all about fastball command from last week to this week, just being able to command the fastball down in out a lot better um, last week. And that just came to more uh, success this week, um, you know, but still a lot to learn. Good, good defensive uh, performance tonight by the defense, you know, one miscue, but so what next pitch and Dante, you know, got to hit the next inning or something like that. And he got the next one hit to him. So that's great. Sure. Um, when you have an outing that doesn't go the way that you want, are you really hard on yourself afterward? Um, I mean, yeah, you know, not hard on myself, you know, just in my head, you know, stinks, sucks that that happens, but there's still a baseball game going on for your team. So you got to get behind them to, you know, score runs or get behind the next pitcher to get out there to keep us, keep it, you know, minimized. So, you know, it, yeah, it sucks, you know, but when I'm there out there, when I get taken out, I'm just pulling for the guys uh, that are playing out there, offense and defense. Um, but, you know, then it's just going to watch film, basically looking at what I can do better, um, but not getting too hard on myself. You know, the game's hard. You got to you got to take failure. Um, you can't let it define you. You just got to let it redefine you in those ways. So um, this game, you're going to fail. So you just got to take that and, you know, run with it and get better. But, you know, other than that, just cheering on the guys. That's that's number one thing when when a bad outing happens.